Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have three Easter DIYs for you guys. Two of them are Dollar Tree and one is just random things I had on hand. So for that first one, this was an old sign that I made a long time ago using some paint stirring sticks and I just glued the back together with some smaller paint stirring sticks and then um I just wasn't in love with the sign that I had previously made so I just painted over the whole thing with some gray chalk paint that I had. I believe the color is Maui Sand and that's by Folk Art Chalk Paint. Anyway, I just am taking another piece of a paint stirring stick to make the outline of a cross. You could actually use the wood and glue it on here, like paint it and put a wooden cross on the sign that would be really cool too but I honestly was being a little bit lazy and I didn't want to do all that so I just did the outline and I think it still came out kind of cute but also I don't know it feels like maybe it's missing a little something you guys tell me what you think I should have done if I could have made it better but I just used um, a Posca paint pen to do the outline and then I use some Waverly White chalk paint to fill in the cross. Now I did um, cut out this saying from my Cricut. I just put he is risen and I thought that would go well with the cross. This vinyl is from Arteza so I will leave the link down below. Their vinyl comes in sheets which I really like. Well, I don't know, I've never used ones on a roll before, but I hear that it's much harder. But their vinyl is really, really nice, and it adheres really well. And then I just used some um, clear contact paper from Walmart to transfer that onto there. It's not too sticky and works perfectly for me. I decided to distress the cross a little bit, so I just used a little bit of paint that was left on my brush from another project I was doing. It's just a little bit of gray and white mixed together and just gave that a little bit of distressing and that's pretty much all I did for this one. Let me guys let me know what you guys would have done differently or if you'd like add something onto it. It just seems a little bit plain for me. Um but just let just let me know what you think about it. On to the next DIY. I'm sure you guys have seen these faux wood blocks from Dollar Tree using these dice. Um, <laughs> I know a bunch of people have done DIYs with these, but I just had to do some of my own because they are so cute. So I just grabbed three packs. I was going to make a longer word, and then I just decided to do hop for Easter, like the Easter Bunny, um, but I did paint five of these, so I will probably use the rest for something else later, maybe do another word later. I was going to just stipple on the black or the ink color Waverly chalk paint over this stencil from Michaels, but it was a little bit big for it. Uh, the dice so I was a little worried that it wasn't going to stay in place so I decided to just go in with a Posca paint pen and outline it first and then I decided to just color it in with that too and so that's all I did for the letters. I've seen other people use wooden letters and just glue them on. You can use stickers from Dollar Tree, whatever you have on hand. Next, I of course wanted to distress these a little bit and so I just used the Maui sand color of my folk art chalk paint. Um, it was a little dark so I decided to go back in with a little bit of the white and I just kind of mixed it together on top of the darker color and I think it came out really pretty. I like everything really distressed but of course you don't have to do that step at all. I just cannot make a craft without distressing it. I think I'm taking my crafting too far because I literally had a dream last night that I was distressing my own wedding dress. This is too much. <laughs> For the last DIY, I use a sign from Dollar Tree. They have these all the time at my Dollar Tree. Um, and they're usually by the frames and candles and like candle holders and stuff. Mine have them 
all the time so hopefully you can find a sign like this if you want to make something like this but I just decided to cover the entire back with some white Waverly chalk paint and then I can always do something with the other side later I love to make reversible signs um, for like one season after the other so um, maybe after Easter I'll make something for summer on the other side so I can just change it as the season as the seasons change now this design I did make on Cricut well I just grabbed some pictures from here and there and stuck the carrot in the back of the truck and then um, just wrote out the rest of it and I used some contact paper from Dollar Tree just to make the stencil and I used the setting of washi tape on my Cricut so that I wouldn't cut all the way through um, the paper and everything but I just went ahead and transferred that on with that same clear contact paper from Walmart it worked perfectly and then I just stippled on the paint mm -hmm. with a sponge brush and some ink chalk paint in the Waverly brand and those Waverly chalk paints are from Walmart now on to my favorite part is the reveal when you pull off the the contact paper. <laughs> this one tore and I had to like take a while to um, weed everything back out of the letters and everything but still at the very end it was so cute. And then of course I decided I had to distress it a little bit. Oh first I actually took my Posca paint pen and just went around the edges of the sign and um, just you know here and there and then making my lines a little bit thicker in a few spots and I wanted to sand it but of course Brie hates that sound and so I just decided to distress it a little bit first with some gray chalk paint and then I took it outside and used my electric sander while she, where she's not going to hear it and um, just went all over the sign really quickly and I absolutely love how this one turned out. I forgot to put a hanger in it before the end of the video but I will do that later and just pop that back through. Like I said, I don't really love the He Is Risen sign as much. It's just not my style as much, but let me know what you guys would have done to it. That's not the question. I'm a think. Ah, come on. You have your baby? My baby. Aw. My, my baby. Give her the passy. Is she crying? Give her the passy. You give her kisses? You give her kisses? Um, <laughs> Aww. Do you love that baby? Bye, baby. Oh, you're such a good mama. Mm, mama. Yeah. Mm, mama. <laughs> such a good mama. Are you singing to her? Uh, up above the world so high. Hello. You can't get it in there? Let mommy help. Hey, suck in there. Come on. Do it again, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more diys like these and follow me on all my social media including my new facebook group so i can see all of your lovely creations that you have made and i will see you guys in the next one bye